If you're working on a JavaScript portfolio project and you're trying to build everything from scratch yourself, I think you're doing it wrong. I'm gonna tell you my number one hack for building a JavaScript portfolio project that is powerful, but in a lot less time. What's up everyone, my name is James Quick, and I do weekly videos on web development related topics, specifically in the JavaScript ecosystem. And I have taught a lot of developers, whether it be in person at bootcamp or through videos on YouTube, giving advice in discord, et cetera. And I get lots of questions about how to get that first job. And most people get the advice of you need a really strong portfolio, raise your hand or comment in the uh, comments below. If you've heard that before, and you kind of question, like, I don't know what to build, but almost more specifically and more difficult of an answer to come up with is how do I actually build this thing? So I'm gonna give you my number one hack for building what in the end will be a very powerful powerful portfolio project, but also a little bit easier to build than some of the other routes that you may go, depending on what your background and interests, et cetera, are. So the I'll just tell you the hack now, and then we'll kind of dive into some of the why and give you some examples, et cetera. So I think the number one hack is to use some technologies that help make the building process easier. That sounds super vague. Let's be a lot more specific something like Superbase. I'm actually gonna pull this up and I will show you what this is. So Superbase is is really its own thing now, like it's got a really strong brand, but it started as an open source Firebase alternative. Firebase is super, super popular, built by Google. Superbase is an amazing similar option. And here's the benefit, this is why it's a hack. Superbase can do a lot of stuff for you. It's a Postgres database. It also has authentication inside of it. It's got uh, APIs, it's got ed fu edge functions, subscriptions, so real-time updates. So if you have a to-do list, for example, and someone changes an item in the database and you're using the Superbase SDK, you can see that change come in real-time. That, like building on your own, takes a lot. And it has storage for images and, and uh, any kind of media things that you might wanna store, just random file storage. It's got all these things packaged into one single platform. I'm a huge, huge fan of Superbase. And let me tell you why this is the hack. When you want to build a portfolio project, I think there's a couple of key points that have to stand out. One, you want to have it deployed. You want to have a real world application. Having authentication built into that where someone who comes and looks at your project can actually log in, create stuff, do things. That's a hack. If you were to build authentication yourself, it would take you a while, it would be a challenge, not to say that you couldn't do it, but it would be a bigger challenge and you have to think about the potential reward because if you build authentication, you take all of your time building authentication, what did you do with the other features that they actually wanna be able to interact with? So in this case with Superbase, and I wanna show you the Superbase JS SDK, to add authentication or to add login here, let's go down to the JavaScript SDK, go into the auth section, let's go for sign up. You wanna sign up? call the sign up function and pass an email and password. The back end of that is already taken care of for you. Uh, you can sign it up with email password. You can sign it up, uh, sign up with magic links for emails. You can then call a sign in with password function or OTP, one time password, et cetera. All that authentication stuff is taken care of for you. Now, another thing that is really amazing, if I sign in, you can actually build your data models inside of the Superbase uh, platform. So again, you're not having to figure out how to write raw SQL necessarily. You're not having to figure out how to write data models without some extra guardrails here, but you're also getting the full learnings of building the data, mo data models and interacting with the database, et cetera. So if I look inside a table editor, this is for the dollar holler demo for the Everything Svelte course. So if you wanna learn more about Superbase and Svelte Kit, uh, you can check out everythingsvelte.com. But if I look in my client table, Here's all the different properties. If I want to insert a row, I can. If I want to add a new column, I get a GUI here that I can use to add a column. So Superbase will take care of authentication, gives you a GUI to look at your data, to create data models, interact with your data. You get in the SDK the ability to query the database, real-time updates, storage for images, et cetera. There's no easier way to build a very powerful full-stack application than to use something like Superbase to help power that. The cool, the good thing is you'll be able to build this much quicker than if you did it on your own. You'll be able to build something which looks a lot more powerful, has more functionality, because you'll have more times to spend on the logic of your application and less on the infrastructure, which is beneficial. Now, the key here is as you build this out, you have to then understand 
what all the different pieces are that you're leveraging from Superbase and what they take care of for you so that you can articulate that in your interviews. But trust me, I've seen a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of portfolio projects that people who use something like this to help take care of a lot of the background difficult stuff are able to build portfolio projects that are more impactful, especially if you can then go into an interview and articulate the things that you built, the things that Superbase takes care of for you and how they fit together. Now, I just wanted to add, this video is uh, not sponsored by, but influenced by Limey.io. And this is a great example of something that's built with SvelteKit, one of my favorite frameworks, and Superbase and TypeScript and hosted on Vercel. And I wanna kind of break this down, so stick with me. Uh, this would be an amazing portfolio project to build. We'll talk about what it is in a second. This is an amazing thing that you could build, but you don't have to build everything at once. So let's kind of break this down a little bit with this Limey application. So this is, uh, Limey is a platform where you can create beautiful landing pages in minutes. And this is basically like your visual editor here to build a landing page for yourself and have links to all of your different places. So if you don't have your uh, personal site yet, you create a page on Limey, you can link to your Twitter, your GitHub, your resume, things like that, change different pieces of information about yourself, color, all that sort of stuff. You can actually handle form submissions. It's got a bunch of stuff in here. So this is really cool. So check it out from a consumer perspective. Like you, this could be a, a link that you give people on your portfolio, on your uh, resume. But let's talk about how to kind of break this down into something that's more achievable for the beginner person building their JavaScript portfolio project. So we start to look at this. There's a lot of things going on. We've got uh, kind of a basic homepage. We've got um, kind of a sign up here with entering your username. You've got login and sign up buttons. You've got a video that shows you here's all the functionality that's going to be inside there. So let's break this down first. If you were to create a project like this, your goal is not to create the end project. Your goal is to break it down into smaller chunks and build those piece by piece. So the first thing you build is a landing page. Could you build something that just looks like this without this form? Yep, I think you could. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. Could you then use Superbase to add authentication to this project based on those function calls that I just showed you? I think you could, absolutely. Could you then start to have a basic form? It doesn't have to look this good. You don't have to have as many components, but could you have a basic form for whatever the topic is? If you like trading cards or to want to track the books that you've read this year, track your workouts, whatever those that information is, could you then add a basic form and then submit that stuff to Superbase by calling, let's see, on the database, if we want to insert, you call superbase.from, so this is gonna be your table name, and then you call insert to insert that new row. You don't have to take care of your backend, you don't have to do a bunch of extra stuff, you just make a call to save that data to the database. I think you could do that. Then, after you get something, a solid CRUD application, you can log in and people can create, read, update, and delete. Now you can start to go and add more features. One of the features that this has is it has the ability to send transactional email, so that's a whole nother thing. I think it's using Mailgun behind the scenes for that. That's a whole nother topic. If you wanna add images on this, that's an interesting topic. Although again, Superbase makes this easy. So you continue to layer on these features, making sure that you start with the core basic pieces and build yourself up to what you eventually want to build and take advantage of powerful platform like Superbase to be able to build that stuff quicker and easier. Now, again, this is not sponsored by Limey. This is just built by a friend of mine, Eden. He's one of the, the best uh, just like builders I've seen out there of products. I think he's got some really awesome stuff. So right now, just so you know, on Limey, if you're looking to take advantage of some of the uh, higher features, there's an 80% discount on the light plan to give you a dollar a month for lifetime. So if you wanted to use this for a dollar a month for lifetime, you can get the discount now. There's 93 seats available. So you might wanna go and check it out. There's only 93 seats left. So go and check it out. If anything, go and sign up for it for the free plan so you can see what a really amazing, powerful portfolio project could be. Don't get intimidated if that's too much. Remember, backtrack to like, what's the core things that you could build first? But take this as an example, inspiration of how you could leverage a framework like SvelteKit or React and Next.js Use TypeScript, which is a great practice, becoming more and more popular these days, and combine that with Superbase to take care of so much of your backend functionality for you so that you can have a fully functioning, powerful CRUD application running and deployed on something like Netlify, Vercel, Cloudflare, et cetera, so that your interviewee or your interviewers can go and actually see that project and test it out. 
and you can have a conversation about that in your interviews. So I hope this hack helps. Hope that, hopefully that takes a little bit of pressure off of you for building your JavaScript portfolio project. If you have any additional questions about portfolios, let me know in the comments below. But most importantly, share your portfolio projects if you have any that you would like me to check out. I'd love to see those. So add those in the comments below as well. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, hope it takes off some of the pressure and I'll catch you next time.